Hey guys, so by popular request, um, I'm gonna show you our container home that we moved into in Costa Rica. All right, so there's a little container home compound. There's three units there. You got that orange looking one, um, up in there is a green one, and then there's a blue one. Our container home is this green one. Um, you can see they got these sunscreens or these awnings over the top of uh, the roof to help it shed water as well as keep it cold, cool. The laundry facility. So we'll go in there and check that out. There's three units here. We all share this laundry facility. Um, there's two people in each unit, so six of us are sharing this. All right, so what we have here is a washer, a wash tub, and then they have a clothesline inside this uh, open air laundry facility. So we're in the rainy season, it rains every day, so it's nice to have the clothesline inside this unit. And there's kind of a clothesline here for, um, for the same deal. And there's an old bus parked over there that I think they're gonna be renovating into another spot. Yeah, to rent out. All right, so here's the view from the other direction. I think that's a kindergarten across the street. All right, let's go inside. So we're inside the container home now. There's Jazz working away. Um, we got this little accent wall. It's kind of cool for shooting a YouTube video. There's the uh, kitchen setup. Uh, let's see. It came with pretty much everything you see there. It has a microwave. We use that area above the microwave as our pantry. Mini fridge. Um, induction cooktop uh, which never used before but this thing's sweet it like heats up instantly real fast it'll boil water in i don't know like a minute a full pot of water here's bedroom one which right now i've been using as uh, my office and we both use it as storage for our suitcases all 13 suitcases fit in here one way or another all right, we'll flip around. Um, we got the, a large window in the kitchen living area and a sliding glass door. It's funny, this locks on the inside and the outside, which is not something you would typically have in the States. The little um, living area, I guess. Came with that table and that, everything in that carpet area. A little piece of artwork on the wall. Coming through here is a master bed. Uh, probably a full size bed. Another mini split air conditioning unit. Uh, this, this place has two mini splits, which is actually over overkill for this little container. I think they could have got by with one but it cools down nice and fast. Um, it gets, it can get real cold in here. Closet area. Uh, I'll have to step back. Oh, nice little closet space. Maybe I can get a better shot. All right, that's the closet space. Well, let's go into the bathroom. Okay, here's the bathroom. The shower, little corner shower. This thing is probably something most people aren't familiar with. I know I wasn't. It's called a suicide shower. All right. So basically it's like an instant water heater. And uh, while you're in the shower, why do they call it a suicide shower? Uh, I can only assume it has something to do with the live electrical wires 
uh, right above your head when you're standing wet in the shower. So we um, try not to touch that when we're showering. It's supposed to be on a 50 amp breaker and it's actually only on a 20 amp breaker. So we have it in order to use it. We have it, the pressure dialed all the way down and the temperature dialed all the way down, which it still gets hot. It's just not a, a really high pressure shower. Got your little vanity and a mirror and a window. Um, I think most people in from Costa Rica must be on the shorter side because it's kind of hard to see here, but this mirror, there you go. I, I can see my neck in it, in the bottom of my goat. So, oh, something most people probably don't know. See that trash can next to the toilet? Well, you don't flush toilet paper in Costa Rica. Um, some people told me it's for environmental purposes, which may be the case. But I also notice a lot of the plumbing here um, for the toilets in the States, we use a four inch pipe. Um, I, I notice some of these toilets here are plumbed with two inch, which if you flush a bunch of toilet paper in a two inch pipe, you're gonna clog. So, and another thing I noticed about the plumbing, at least in this place, uh, they don't have vents. So they don't have vents or P traps under the sink. sink. Let me show you this under the sink here. So there's the plumbing. It goes straight down into that pipe. And well, you can't see it. And it goes through the floor, but there's no P-trap. And what a P-trap does is it makes a uh, vapor lock. It holds water in a, in, a, in a place in the pipe, creating a vapor lock, and which prevents the uh, septic fumes from um, entering from, from escaping and, and making your bathroom smell bad. So what we do, we just put a little cover over the drains and uh, that seems to solve the problem. And they don't have vents on their plumbing in this place either. So um, when the water's draining, you kind of get that gurgle effect and it drains slow. But that's really the only issues we're having here besides this, this space being a little small and we have a shipping container full of all our uh, stuff from the states coming sometime next month so um, we are gonna have to uh, figure out something else because uh, our stuff would probably fill a good third of this um, this unit but you know it's pretty nice we're paying we're paying $350 a month for rent here, which is great. We're about five minutes from the ocean. Uh, we're five minutes walk from a bunch of good restaurants here in Uvita. Uh, maybe a 20 minute walk from the bamboo forest and a nice waterfall in the Uvita River. Two minutes from the farmer's market. Too. Oh yeah, two minutes from the farm farmer's market, which is right behind us and uh, grocery store, five minute walk, bank, five minutes. Everything's five minutes. Um, so pretty good location, nice little size place. Uh, I recommend it for anyone coming to visit. I'm sure they Airbnb out these places and 350 a month, I mean, uh, you can't beat it. Utilities, we're paying for electricity $100 a month for unlimited electricity, but electricity is more expensive in Costa Rica uh, for a number of reasons. Um, Costa Rica, the, the, whole, the whole country is, um, produces 98% of their electricity as a renewable source. So like hydroelectric, I don't know how they do it, but it has to do with the, I believe it has to do with the uh, tides from the ocean um, and solar. They do that in here as well. Maybe wind, I'm not sure. But yeah, 98% is pretty incredible for a population, I think about five million. So pretty, pretty cool. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.